If you are interested in the way how we turn this to this and of course you all all you need to do is to watch this video to the end because who don't love chicken shawarma hello everyone and welcome to sour chocolate yes it is it's chicken shawarma all we need to, for today is 500 grams of chicken breast teaspoon of garlic and onion powder a tablespoon of pepper paste, smoked paprika and mixed spice, tomato puree, garlic and comedin, salt and pepper, and half a cup of olive oil, quarter cup of apple vinegar, and three tablespoons of Greek yogurt. Okay, let's first prepare our chicken. So, we need to take off all these extra white pieces from our chicken and let's cut the chicken to a really really thin and medium medium long pieces just the way as a video and we have always always to watch our hands when using a knife please do watch your fingers each time i make a shower ma i remember this story after a week of my engagement my fiance invited me to a dinner and he took me to a shawarma restaurant so when it was time to order there was two options in my mind the first one shall i stay that cute girl and old order that small size shawarma you know because it's only a week so i would love to stay that cute girl or option two order as always two three wraps with extra large chips and a double coke uh, it was a war in my mind but finally i decided to stay that cute girl and stick to option one i did and when he ordered he asked for three wraps and large meal with a big chips and a coke it was the most dark moment in my life he was eating and i was staring to my small shawarma i will finish it in a second what i will do with it <laughs> and after i got married i told him that story and he was unbelievable <laughs> Okay, let's back to the chicken and finish cut them. Okay, all done. Let's prepare the sauce. I will put the garlic, the salt, the pepper and all the other ingredients into the blender and mix them really really well. It's okay now. I will put the mix on top of the chicken and of course we are not going to use a spoon to make them yes with our hands oh my god look how satisfying that is our chicken is now ready and we need to put it in the fridge for four to six hours time to cook some olive oil in our pan and our chicken mix on it it will take 20 to 25 minutes to be ready and let's put our chicken all over our pan OMG listen to this isn't it the most beautiful sound you ever heard and now our shawarma is ready shawarma without chips of course not now it's time to make a wrap i also made this garlic sauce tell me in the comments if you would like to know the recipe so i'll put some of it on my bread and the shawarma next 
don't be cheap and what a good amount of it now some pickles and if you would like to put some tomato you can also but no more than that in the shawarma sandwich if you did you have to know that you are making a crime in the original shawarma world to make our sandwiches nice and crispy i will bring my pan put all the shawarma on one side put my sandwiches on the other side and put it back on the hob for low heat uh, one minute each side let's give our sandwich a flip and enjoy the scene and the sound let's prepare our dish okay i will stop talking and let you enjoy the scene huh what about this gordon ramsay can you beat this okay sorry i got excited a little bit of course you can so this is for today and thanks for watching Sour Chocolate.